Hello, my name is Tuli Piernan and I'm a freshman pre-communication design major from Cleveland, Ohio. Why design? Ever since I was little, I've been interested in the arts. I would spend my childhood days drawing and doodling wherever I could. And following in my mom's footsteps, I started painting in high school. I would spend my days in the studio painting huge oil paintings. And as much as I loved it, I couldn't see myself being a painter for the rest of my life. In addition to art, I have a fascination with marketing. And as I was researching potential majors, I stumbled upon graphic design, which combines marketing and art, and that was perfect for me. Design is used for literally everything, and I never realized how many design fields there are. As of right now, I'm very interested in logo design and packaging. Designing logos has been a long time dream of mine. I see logos for different companies and brands all around me, and I find it intriguing how someone came up with a design that now represents the brand and is known all around the world. In addition, packaging is very important when a company wants to sell their product. When I go to the store, the products with the nicest, neatest packaging always pulls my attention first. I would love to be a part of creating something that influences the customers as well as the company selling the product. Design problem and solution. For my design problem and solution, I chose a problem that I faced on a daily basis in my dorm room. I have a Keurig coffee maker, and I can fit a regular coffee cup on the space provided, but none of my tumbler cups fit on it. My tumbler cup is the standard size, which should be able to fit under a coffee maker, but it does not. Now if I want my coffee to go, I have to make two regular coffee cups of coffee separately and then pour them into my tumbler. A solution that I came up with would be to create a more versatile station for the Keurig that fits a standard size tumbler, or to create a station that could be easily changed to, to fit whichever cup you use. Expressive typography. The first big assignment was to choose three words and then express the meaning of the word with type. The only restrictions were that we had to use the font Arial and we had to keep the word black and white. The first word I chose was umbrella. I started out with the U and realized that it kind of looked like the handle of the umbrella. So then I started assembling the rest of the letters on top of it to look like the shaft and I finally rotated the L's to look like the arc. The next word I chose was mirror. I had the idea of mirroring the word, so I started by mirroring the entire word, but I found that boring. So I split the word in the middle and then rotated the other half of the word to look like it was being mirrored from the first half of the word. I then faded the bottom to look like it was an actual reflection. The last word I chose was hanging. I attached each letter to each other to make it look like they were physically hanging from each other. I then rotated some of the letters to make it look more interesting. Mind map. In the mind map exercise, we had to start with our name in the middle and then branch out on different topics that represent who we are. I started out with the aspects that were most important to me, like friends and family. I then moved on to my activities, personality, goals, and appearance. After a while, I started to write random things down, just anything I could think of myself. I found this type of brainstorming very useful because you can write many different ideas down in a short amount of time. And not all of them have to make sense, but they will help you get to the best possible solution. The mind map led to our next assignment, which was personal icons. I started with choosing three topics for my mind map that best describe who I am. I chose family, goal-oriented, and design. The guidelines for this project included that the icons had to be personal, cohesive, with similar line weights and colors, as well as, well as easily recognizable. For my family icon, I wanted to make something that clearly symbolizes family and the love and support I receive from them. My sketches included a family tree, house, and different versions of family that I could think of. I ended up choosing the one with a family in front of a house because that, in my opinion, best represents the idea I was trying to get across. My next icon concept was goal-oriented. I chose this topic because I'm a very goal-oriented person and I always have a list of goals whether there are small goals that I want to accomplish that day or bigger goals that I'm working towards. The sketches for this concept included different goals that I'm working toward now or different ways to express someone trying to reach a goal. I ended up choosing the person in a graduation gown, holding their diploma. I chose this sketch because right now, graduating with good grades and getting a job after college is the biggest goal I'm working towards. My last concept was design. Design obviously plays a huge part in my life right now and I wanted to include it in my icons. My sketches included different forms of art like painting and drawing, but I especially wanted to express design 
so I chose the computer to clarify which type of art I am expressing. I iterated my final three designs further and made them more unified and simple. I then brought my icons to Illustrator to create the final pieces. I chose the same pink background to unify the icons and also used similar colors in all three. I also used similar shapes and line weights to make sure they're all cohesive. These are my finished personal icons. I chose to make stickers instead of buttons, and I stuck the stickers onto a black notebook to create a background and also to express that they're stickers instead of just pieces of paper. I think I did a good job keeping the icons cohesive as well as making sure that each image is recognizable. And I really like this project because it allowed me to use my design skills and creativity to create a personalized piece.